What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's us. Let's get productive. So we have a lot of ground to cover, and we're going to start off today with a new, really cool, really dope VST. But before we get into that, not too long ago, I did a beat reviews video. So you guys submitted your beats, and we went through the beats. We discussed them. We discussed what we liked about them, what we thought could be changed to make your beats sound a little bit better. It was all love, and it was really constructive, and I'm bringing it back. We're bringing back the beat reviews video. So I'm really excited about that. So if you want to be a part of the beat reviews video all you have to do is email me your three best beats and i'm gonna check them out and then i'll pick out my favorite out of the three beats you submit and hopefully you'll be in this upcoming episode but if you're not in this upcoming episode i'll squeeze you into the next episode and we'll move forward like that i'll leave the email for the beat submissions down in the comment section now Moving forward, let's get into what we're here to discuss this week. A brand new VST from one of my favorite companies. Now this is a company all of you I know are familiar with, ADSR Sounds. They have a website where they're basically a distribution for loads of plugins and loads of VSTs. I copped a lot of VSTs and plugins from this website. I'm sure you guys have bought a lot of VSTs and plugins from this website as well, but they just recently released their very own drum sampler plugin and it's called drum machine now i'm really enjoying the capabilities of this thing but i think the best thing about this drum machine is the ease of use so let's not waste any more time let's get right into it adsr drum machine let's see what this thing is all about so as always i have logic up and this is drum machine now right off the bat first thing you're going to notice is how cool and how clean and smooth this UI really is and the ease of use. It's something about the size and the scope and the placement of all of the different dials and all of the different knobs that just makes it really easy to kind of see what's going on on the UI and understand what's happening. And that's one of the things, like I mentioned in the intro, that's one of the things I really enjoy about this VST is its ease of use when it comes to programming drums and samples and all of that different kind of stuff. And we're gonna get into that in a little bit and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But the first thing we're gonna do is just go over the UI really quickly and just see what's happening here. Now you have this nice kind of matte black, matte gray kind of look to it. And I love that color grade for what this thing is. If you go up to the top here, click this corner little button right here, you can go to display scale and you can change the size of the display all the way from extra large, all the way down to small. We're gonna keep it at, we're gonna keep it at medium. That's a nice size for it right now. Now, if you look up here at the top, you have your sound effects section, which is this main page right here. You have a sequencer section, and this is gonna take you to your drum sequencer, and you have 16 different patterns you can program inside of your drum sequencer, four different pages. You can toggle back and forth between single pads and all pads. If you look up here at the top again, you'll see the mixer section, and yes, this thing has its own built-in mixer, so you can really mix your drums down, and you can send them to different bus tracks, but you can do everything you need to do right within the VST itself before you even take it to your DAW. Over here in the center, this is where you have your envelope section, you have gain pan velocity. Right here in this little center display is where your sample is gonna load up. And if you go from envelope, you can click split. And in split, you can split the WAV file and highlight individual sections of the transient and add individual effects to those transients wherever you like. So that's really cool. So you don't have to necessarily add an effect to the whole entire sample, you can just add it to certain sections. And that's really dope. And this button right here is your tuning section. So when you have a sample load up, you can change the tuning amongst the keys and you know get different pitches uh, within the same sample. And that's really dope as well. Now, all of these things I'm gonna go over with you guys in a second so you can see this thing in action and see how it really works. But we're still just going over the main screen here just to kind of walk you through what's happening. All of these effects down here, you have your cutoff section, your EQ section, compressor, you have a filter, you have a driver right here, you have a phaser, and you can toggle back and forth between transient and body. So you can add effects to the whole body of the sample or the transient and whichever part of the transient you have selected via your split tab right here, 
it will take effect on that section. Now right here where you have this little magnifying glass, you can click that and that's gonna open up your locations tab so you can kind of search through your computer and find your own individual samples. So if you have your own folders with different drum samples, snares and kicks and loops and all of that stuff, you can just go through your computer, find the hard drive you're looking for and search for the samples that you're looking for. Or you can use the factory samples, that's right. This drum machine comes loaded with samples, loaded with drums, and not just like BS drums, but the drums that are loaded inside of this thing are really dope. You have everything from an acoustics folder to analog, beats, drum and bass, experimental, hip hop, house, lo-fi, which is really dope. You have micro, pop, reggae, techno. So you have all these different categories. Uh, we can go to drum and bass. Let's just see what that is. You have tech DMB kit. And in the tech DMB kit, you have all of these different samples. Now you can just go to any one of these pads. As you click on the pads, they highlight. Any one of the pads that are highlighted is the pad that you have selected. So you can click on any one of these pads and just go through the different drum samples. And you'll notice as I go through the drum samples, right over here on this pad that I have selected, the name is changing because it's it's automatically applying the sample to that pad. So I don't have to double click it or anything like that. Just, just selecting it is enough to apply that sound to that pad. And it's as simple as just clicking the next pad and then going through the sounds again until you find the sound that you're looking for. And then clicking the next pad and going through the sounds again until you find the sound that you're looking for. It's that easy to load up the sample on the pads in this thing. I love the ease of use inside of this thing. And you can click on any one of the pads and adjust the gain and the tuning right here. Or you can just exit out of this whole thing, go back to your main page for your sampler and really go to work on any one of the pads. You'll notice as I highlight the pad, the sample loads up right here. If you go to split, you'll see where you can select the part of the transient that you would like to add an effect to. Now, if I wanted to load up an entire kit, I would just click up here at this top magnifying glass and I would just go through the kits up there. Acoustics, analog, we go to beats, we go to hip hop. I can double click the soul kit DM and it's gonna load the entire pad up. with everything inside of this kit. And I can just click on any one of the pads. You got a little drum, you got a little guitar riff right there. I can click on any one of these pads. So like right here, I have this vocal sample. I can make that little vocal sample a bit larger. I can, I can open it up more and let more of the sample play. Or I can let less play. Everything is so self-explanatory and so easy to use inside of this thing. It's a dream. Like, as a matter of fact, only thing that I wish they had was a magnifying glass for the sample itself right here in the sample window so that I can kind of zoom in a little bit more on the sample and, and really see what it is that I'm trying to do as far as like how much I want to let play. But because it's so hands-on and so easy to use, I can literally just keep, keep hitting the key and just moving the slider while I hit the key and then get it to sound exactly how I want. And it's that simple. So you really don't even need to zoom in because you can just move the slider and just keep hitting the key until you get the sound that you're going for. If I didn't like that vocal sample, I can just click vocals, come down here, go to a whole new kit. Uh, let's open up, let's go back. You can just hit the back arrow right here to go back to the different kits. I can go to lo-fi, let's see, lo-fi classic kit. And I can add And now I have that snare instead of the vocal. 
It's that simple. It's very easy to use. As a matter of fact, anything you're thinking in regards to how to use this thing is probably the right way to go. This is definitely one of those VSTs where you don't even necessarily need to read a manual. You can literally just look at this thing and figure out what it is you have to do. Now we can move into the sequencer section. One thing I wanted to show you over here in the sequencer section is down here in the bottom, you have this button here that says host. As long as that's highlighted, the VST is a slave to the DAW. So it's not gonna play or do anything that the DAW isn't doing. So you have to hit play inside your DAW to make it play inside the VST. But if you wanna just build your beat inside the VST first before you even start worrying about adding on top of it, through your DAW, you can just turn off host and now you can just do what you have to do inside the VST. You'll notice if I hit play now, the, the pattern that's loaded up inside the sequencer is gonna play. And each one of these kits comes with up to 16 different patterns. So if you just wanted to go with one of the drum kits and just use the pattern that is loaded up with the drum kit and you didn't want to do anything extra, you have 16 different variations that you can either choose and toggle between or add on to to make it your own, but you have 16 different selections. So this kit right here, you play pattern one. You have that, you play pattern two. You have that, you play pattern three. You have that, you play pattern four. You have that, and this sequencer is really self-explanatory. It works like your typical drum sequencer. Each one of these little bars here is represented by a key on your keyboard. So D sharp on the pads over here, D sharp one is right here. D sharp one is a kick. And when you click on that kick pad, it highlights that section of the sequencer and you can just plug in your drums how you want to plug them in and it'll play when I hit play. If you click on this section right here, the single pad section, any one of these pads that are highlighted is gonna allow you to make adjustments to those individual pads. And you can click on the dice over here on the right to get randomized velocity and rolls within that individual pad. So right now I have the kick pad highlighted and I just click the dice. And you can hear the changes happening. And it doesn't have to be that intense. You know, you can make your own individual adjustments, but that's the sequencer. And if you come over to the mixer, every single one of the pads is represented by a different fader. And you can completely mix your drums down in here. You can even send any one of these tracks to a bus track inside the DAW and add compression, EQ, filter, drive, and phaser to the bus track. So it's really cool that you can do all of these different kinds of things, onboard processing, split pads, effects, a built-in mixer, so many different things inside of this drum machine. It's going to make your workflow easier. So really quickly, I'm gonna go through some of the kits that they have loaded up inside of here, and I'm gonna go to the sequencer and just play the demo tracks that they have inside of here, just so you can hear some of the different drums and sounds that you can get inside of this thing. And another really cool thing about this is, if you go up here to the top right section, you'll notice that it has an extra section and it has a, a spot right here where you can buy expansions, which means they plan on expanding on this thing and really continuing to invest into this VST. And I love VSTs that are long-term, where the company is gonna continue to invest its time and resources into building it and making it better and better. And it seems as though that's what this is gonna be because they have this buy expansions section, so that's really great. They also have a routing section, so you can route the pads to different bus tracks, and they and that's really cool as well. Um, but yeah, let me go through some of these kits inside of here so we can hear what's going on. Now let's start with the experimental kit. Let's go to 140 abstract, and let's play this. And 
and I'm going to just go through them really quickly. So I'm going to just keep switching through some of them. Let's try Hip Hop Soul Kit. Boom Bap Kit. I really like the snare in that kit. The snare sounds dope. We're gonna go to Lo-Fi. I'll play Lo-Fi R&B Kit. And that didn't feel that didn't feel much like a lo-fi drum pattern, but I guess the lo-fi drums are there, so that's really cool. Let's try another one from the lo-fi kit. Let's try lo-fi chill hop. Let's try reggae. Try Afro beats. So personally, I'm not a fan of a lot of the patterns that, that come loaded up in the drum machine, but I do love how clean the drums are. So it's dope to be able to load up a pattern as like an idea and then really go in and make it your own because the drums are there. And like I said, you can load up your own drums anyway. So you can actually keep the pattern and just load your own drums up into it if you didn't like the drums and vice versa. If you like their drums but didn't like the pattern, you can keep their drums but change the pattern up. Really cool stuff. And I'm gonna try techno real quick just to hear what they have going on in the technos category. Try rave techno. I really like that one. I'm gonna play that one again. I like the groove on that one. So yeah, they have some pretty dope kits and they have a lot, which is one of the really cool things about this is that they didn't skimp on the kits. You have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. You have 11 different categories and each category comes with a bunch of different preset kits. So now let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the cookup and I'm gonna show you guys what I created using Drum Machine. Now I, now I use Drum Machine on one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There's a hidden track right here on the top somewhere. Where's the hidden track? Right here, the intro track. So I used it on seven I used Drum Machine on seven different tracks in this beat. There's 10 tracks in the whole beat and I used it on seven. So I used Drum Machine on a lot of tracks, including the main loop. So I'm gonna play the sampled loop for you guys really quick so you can hear it. Now that loop right there, I drag and dropped um, a song into the drum machine and I chopped it up inside of the drum machine and applied different sections of the sample to different pads and I played it how I want. So I basically chopped the sample up in the drum machine. Now that's not the easiest thing to do in this drum machine. So I will say if you're looking for a drum machine that's gonna like rival Serato and be like really easy to chop up samples. I don't think this is for that. I think this is really focused on just, you know, chopping up small, of chopping up small samples and things like drums and snares and kicks and drum loops and things like that. I wouldn't take a three minute song and try to chop it up in this thing. You can do it, but it's not gonna be as easy as maybe some other programs just because of how long the wave file is. But I did take a three minute song and I did chop it up and apply it to different pads all inside of Drum Machine. And I'll show you guys what that looks like. So right here, if we open up Drum Machine, you'll notice I have a few pads right here that say water, and that's the name of this sample. 
And if you click on each pad, you'll notice that it's the same sample, but it's just highlighted in different sections. And that's how I chopped it up. Now, after I chopped it up, I turned it into an audio file and just put the audio file right here so that I can manipulate it a little bit more. And I hit the original track. So I have that plus all of these different tracks right here that all come from the drum machine. So we're going to play this track back and I'm gonna show you what this thing sounds like. So this is the beat I made using drum machine. And that's it, that's the beat I made using Drum Machine. Now the original price of this thing is $69, but they're currently running a sale for $49, I believe. It's, it's only lasting for about 30 days, and depending on when I post this video, it may be even less than that. So if I was you guys, I'd run over to ADSR right now and check out the sale price, because at $49, this thing is more than worth the money. So let me know what you guys think. Is this something that you're gonna be checking out? As always, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the turn on your notifications so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.